Hey guys, welcome to Gate.io YouTube channel. My name is Devshree Bhaiya and I'm the Global Growth Manager at Gate.io. And in this video today, we are here to unravel a captivating saga that's been making waves in the world of cryptocurrency. So yeah, today we are looking into the courtroom clash between Grayscale Investment and SEC. It's a tale of legal maneuvers, market dynamics, and the potential transformation of the crypto landscape. So yeah, let's get into what exactly happened between SEC and Grayscale in the first place. So Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, that is GBTC, is a major player in the crypto space with over $14 billion in asset under management. Now, Grayscale's initial application to convert GBTC into a spot Bitcoin ETF was earlier rejected by the SEC on the grounds that it lacked measures to prevent fraudulent transactions and manipulative activities. And this very decision left the entire crypto community surprised and obviously disappointed as well. But wait, Grayscale wasn't ready to accept this defeat and with its legal armor at ready, they took the SEC to the court. Now, fast forward to August 29, 2023, the day Judge Naomi Rao from the US Court of Appeal Circuit ruled in favor of Grayscale. In a nutshell, she gave the SEC's denial a run for its money, questioning their rationale. But here's a twist, right? This win isn't a golden ticket for an ETF extravaganza. Grayscale's legal squad is deep in the review process as we speak of now. Now let's connect the dots. Could this courtroom triumph be the catalyst that sets the crypto market ablaze? Okay, <laughs> hold on to your crypto hats because what comes next is purely speculative from what we heard from the crypto community. While this victory isn't a guaranteed green signal for the first ever spot Bitcoin ETF in the US, it's spark that could ignite something much bigger than this. The SEC has been playing it very cautiously because they are worried about the market manipulation and this ruling could be a turning point not only for Grayscale but also for the other contenders in the crypto idea phrase. Now let's take a moment and peek into the minds of crypto veterans. Tim Bevan, who is the CEO of ETC Group, is cautiously optimistic predicting that the spot Bitcoin ETF might finally emerge by early 2024. And then there is Alex Edelman, who is the brain behind Lolly, and uh, he has actually noticed that the price of Bitcoin doing a little jig post this news. It's like the market race of saying, hey, we are ready for Bitcoin investment vehicles. But honestly, guys, if spot Bitcoin ETF become a reality, we could be on the brink of a crypto revolution. The Crypto Council for Innovation, that is CCI, even hinted that the launch of these ETFs might finally be closer than we think. The math seems pretty obvious. The more Bitcoin ETFs we have, the more investors we'll be having, and hence the more growth opportunities and more revenues to explore the world of crypto. It's like unlocking a new level in the crypto game. So, what lies ahead in the crypto narrative? As Grayscale clinches some sort of a victory in the courtroom crime, the SEC might have a few cards up in its sleeves. They might appeal the ruling or take a different route with an end bank hearings, but one thing is certain, the story is far from over. But hey, this is the world of cryptocurrency where every twist is a chance to learn and evolve. So here's the conclusion guys. We have witnessed a crypto showdown of epic proportions, Grayscale versus the SEC. It's like a chapter from a thrilling crypto novel unfolding before our eyes. This legal victory is like a pebble making ripples in the vast crypto spawn. Will it pave the way for the first ever Bitcoin ETF? Time will tell. But remember, the crypto world is an adventure where we are here to embrace every twist and turn. But yeah, thanks for joining me in this crypto journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your insights in the comment section below. Until next time, stay cautious and keep trading on Gator Dive.